All right, in this video we're going to have a quick look at some of the factors that might affect the action of enzymes. And uh, possibly already we've had a look at the effect of temperature, of pH, enzyme concentration and substrate concentration. We're going to have a look at you know, a few other factors, some of the, uh, the extra things that can be going on. Um, that's going to be cofactors and coenzymes and inhibitors. So cofactors and coenzymes, um, they're basically uh, molecules that help the enzyme become active and, and in, in some cases they actually contribute to the uh, active site and become part of the active site. Um, coenzymes are organic molecules, okay, so they're complex uh, molecules, they're made um, by organisms, um, being organic, um, have carbon in them, um, and they're non-protein ones and they sort of work with the enzyme. Cofactors, um, do a similar thing, but quite often they're ions. Um, so we sometimes make the distinction in cofactors and call some of them coenzymes and some of them cofactors. So a way a coenzyme might work is um, here in this diagram we can see uh, this um, darker blue uh, object being the enzyme and we have a coenzyme, this lighter blue one. The coenzyme sits in, into a section of the enzyme and that contributes to that active site and helps make that specific shape. Without the coenzyme present, um, the substrate won't fit in um, and the enzyme won't be active. So it assists the enzyme to become active. And cofactors work in a, in a similar sort of way, just allowing that enzyme to become active. Um, now, next I want to talk about a group of molecules which are inhibitors, and they actually prevent the, or inhibit the enzyme from working. And let's have a look at this top diagram here first of competitive inhibition. And this is where um, the inhibitor actually fits into the active side of the enzyme. The enzyme is this darker blue object here. The inhibitor fits into that spot, as we can see there, and it stops this lighter blue substrate from fitting in. If the substrate can't fit in, then the enzyme will be inactive. Um, and they, they can be controlled. Um, there's quite a few um, famous um, poisons that are actually inhibitors. They, they um, stop essential enzymes in the body working, but they can also be something that's part of the natural process in the body. Um, Non-competitive inhibitors uh, work in a similar way, but instead of um, being uh, competitive and competing for the active site, they work by um, attaching to another part of the enzyme. And in this example below we can see that we have a non-competitive inhibitor attaching to the bottom of the enzyme and normally the enzyme would, uh, and the substrate would fit quite nicely but when the non-competitive inhibitor is attached it changes the shape of the enzyme and changes the shape of the active site meaning that the substrate can't fit into the active site. Okay, So competitive inhibitors fit in that active site. Non-competitive inhibitors don't fit in the active site, but they do also prevent the enzyme from being active and from the substrate fitting into the active site. Okay, good luck with studying enzymes. Um, in, in this video we covered um, cofactors, coenzymes, um, which are required to create the active site, and we have competitive and non-competitive inhibitors, which change the shape or block the active site.